Hello, Slicers. This is the Wizardly Wombat coming to you again. I apologize for my recent absence, for you see, I have been quite busy. But before I get into those details, I want to say to my former opponent, congratulations on the making of your movie. It looks quite interesting. I haven't been calling recently because I am working very hard to establish a human presence on the lunar surface. Thank you, Mr. Menengay, for the use of your property. Moonbase Menengay is just about complete. The only projects left is stocking the bar in your office, creating the special-made Merkin curtains that you requested, very interesting choice, and installing the patio furniture. I have to go. I'm very important and very busy. I will catch you later, Slicers. Wombat out. SliceofSciFi.com Michael on Menengay, I am so on to you. Hey, Slicers, it's Mike from Michigan again. Hey guys, it's Gary from Jacksonville. I'm calling in with a mini review. Hello, Skippy people. It is Jay Emmett from the Obscure 80 Podcast. Ding! Hello, Slice of Sci-Fi. This is Mary King from the Signal Podcast. A wild Snorlax appears with yet another contribution. Ringing in his dead. Long live the Slice of Sci-Fi voicemail. And I'm very happy to uh, have the Wombat up there working for me on my property because it's 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 needed to be developed, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. So, well, you know, that's that's all right. You now, know, Fox Leader's busy, so exactly. uh, you know, Wombat's got his. his got got to fill in. That's right. <laughs> I'm Michael Armin Gay, and this is the voicemail show. Soon to be renamed. Yes, it is. Soon to be renamed the Listener Feedback Show. And you're mm-hmm. going to get a little taste of that today. Of course. My name is Brian Brown. I'm Sam Roberts. I'm Tim Adamick. I'm wondering if the Merkin carpet matches the Merkin curtains. Of course. Uh, they, d- d- no, they do not. I that, did not want them that's to That's right. Match. He's got tile. Coordinating, right. He's got tile. but not that's matching. Right. Okay. I am Brett Filipek. And we have joining us, folks, young Padawan Noah. I'm the lurker at the end of the table. That's yeah. him. There you go. Very nice. He's the voice at the end of the table. The voice at the end of the <laughs> table. Yes, indeed. <laughs> our, our our active recruitment program has actually paid off, and we <laughs> did actually we we actually got an intern. We do we'll, somebody. We'll impressive. see Wait. if he shows up next week. <laughs> That's true. Right? Uh, we may have scared the hell out of him already. And I he's don't like, know. I'm never going back to those crazy he's people again. What right the there? With a glass of scotch, I think He's that's probably a lot. Fine. Yeah. Well, that's now, that's now what is, that's waterboarding our... is traditionally week two, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 suit is three, three. right? Three. Yeah. 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 And then the barrel right. is somewhere game. in the end. <laughs> Roll <laughs> out <laughs> the barrel. <laughs> you don't have to get a. I, I figure everybody game? else here has already gone through it, so mm. <laughs> we survived exactly with our sanity intact. Wait, that which does not kill me makes me stronger. Wait, there was an intern. Oh, sorry, yeah. Shh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, that's so right. what are we doing again? It's, we um, are doing the voicemail show. That is the number to call, mm-hmm. which would be 206 206- Three three nine three three nine track. Yeah, that's right. It's a group effort tonight, guys. Two zero six three three nine eight seven three five. I like two zero six six hundred geek. Let's all I just... do too. I'm I miss that number. Whoever's got that yeah. number, please get it give back? it back to me. I want that one. I really do. <laughs> well, we'll 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 let you stay at the the Michael Marmenengay Ranch on the Moon. Absolutely. Mark Mark Marmalade Marmenengay Marmenengay Merkin thing. Yes, the Marmalade Merkin. And how much have you drank tonight? I'm on my second Diet Coke. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like you better when you drank. Cut me off. All righty. Well, here we go. Hello again, listeners and crew of Slice of Sci Sci Sci. Hello. Cindy. Cindy, have you made that broadcast to the Slice of Sci Fi show yet? Cindy? Oh, man. What's going on with my bot? All right. Hold on. Let me check the battery compartment. There's a note in here. To whom it may concern the owner of this Cindy 2.0 bot, we've taken the batteries to power Victoria? <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. No. Wow. Oh wow. <sighs> and explains what's hurtling at us now. Yeah. Wait, that's tomorrow. 
Don't oh, that is too much. Yeah. Yeah. You are, we record that first, yeah. but then you're Eric crossing Lee. the stream. Streams crosser. Nobody likes uh, the stream crosser. Uh, take him out wow. back. You are in the gimp suit this week, pal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tell you Ooh. what. Well, I think that's a good place to take a break. All right. What if Queen Victoria traveled in airships instead of a carriage? Now that's history with a steampunk twist. Imagine books where the Victorian age has technology that's advanced, but powered by the science of steam. The possibilities are endless and the stories unforgettable. 2011 is proving to be an explosive year for these clockwork creations. And Carina Press has plenty of titles to suit the adventurous reader. Put a little steam in your stories. Start by downloading our free ebook novella at carinapress.com. All right, back with more voicemail. Listener feedback. Listener feedback-ish. Feedback. Feedback voicemail type feedback. feedback. Well, well, this we're transitions. Week. We're in the transition. you got to get used to calling it that, is what That's I'm saying. Because right. next week, there's the money jar. That's true. Oh. The money jar. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, right. them. Never mind. And it's a good place to uh, actually uh, talk about uh, the changes that are happening and the changes in the voicemail. Uh, it, we do not want you to stop sending in no. voicemail. No. We no, do no, no. not. You need to keep sending in comments because your comments are what drives this thing that we do here. Uh-huh. But we're going to start getting a little bit more picky on the stuff that's coming well, in. Well, not only so that, that not only th- we're going to also incorporate listener comments into uh, every show. Right. Yep. So the fact is, is you may have something very interesting that we want to discuss, that you want us to discuss, right? and we will discuss it on Absolutely. our show, one of the shows. So you, you never know where your your comments are going to end up. Correct. So, so you got to send you them. Go. You got to send them in because if you don't play, you can't win. Yes. Oh, wait, no. No. No, that's not right. No, it's not. That's not it. Right. Right. No. But either way, we're rebranding. Yes. yes. Okay. Branding, yes. Branding, mm. yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, it's Katie from Boston. I am just calling, listening to the last voicemail show, wondering when did my reaction to Fringe become my reaction to Fox Leader? Wait. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there's... oh, it's funny because it's true. It yeah. is. It, it actually probably always should have been the same way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really. He actually probably could be in an episode of Fringe. Yeah, he's definitely a fringe, that's yeah. for sure. So I've yeah. really missed a lot, I take it. Yes, you have. Yes. Oh, you really have. Yes. Yeah, I'm on season two right now. You'll get there. You'll get there. Trust me. Okay. Hey, Slices Mike from Des Moines. I've been perusing over Facebook, and I saw something I'll probably be getting, the Star Trek Enterprise pizza cutter. I saw that. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then I perused a little bit farther, and I saw, did not believe this, the Star Trek Klingon Monopoly game. Saw yes. that, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kapla. When does the Ferengi version come out? <laughs> that's that's brilliant. brilliant. Great. Will the rule book be? How thick will the rule book be? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Absolutely. How many rules of acquisition are there? Would oh. that be awesome? Oh, man. I mean, and like you'd, have, you'd have to completely change the way that Monopoly was played. You'd have gold plus latinum for exactly, one. Exactly. I'll be latinum. Yeah. Right. Well, oh, that's a great idea. Not only though. that, and but you definitely have to do the rule book as the rules of acquisition. Absolutely. Well, and that's it. And, and if you're going to do rules of acquisition, if you land on some place and you stay there for more than two or three rolls or something like that, you basically you own the thing because you were there for so, so long. Right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so if you're female, do you have to play naked? Uh, well, I think so. No, of course. No. That makes perfect sense. Ear massage, P75, uh, gold plus Latin. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Oh, somebody, oh, yeah, somebody no. needs to put this one together. This would be a blast. All ideas are copyrighted by Slice and Sci-Fi. <laughs> That's right. We we, ho- we hold a, we um, all rights reserved. Yes. Um, contact Circle us if you C, would like to do something Circle with R, this. <laughs> TM. Hey, Slice is Mike from Des Moines. And I'm out here doing some field work listening to some more interesting podcasts. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Uh-huh. What? Some alternative podcasts. There you go. Nothing is more interesting than Slice and Sci-Fi. That's right. Anyway. Oh, Sam. I was hearing about alien abductions and about how they alter people's minds. Okay. And I think this explains a lot of the movie selections that are coming out of Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, they okay. come up with this fantastic idea, 
then the aliens come down, scramble their brain, right. and produce this crap that we see in theater. Well, wow. if you're dumb enough to go to theater. Exactly. Yes. Um, anyway, and it also explains most of Jack Black's career. Now, folks, I will say there is one movie that Jack Black is brilliant in, High Fidelity. Mm, yes. yes. Okay, but let's okay. get back to The Rock, because okay. Dwayne Johnson is awesome and funny. Yeah. He's a clever funny, guy. That's for sure. Funny. Funny. Never knew how funny he was, he was until I saw Get Smart. The Rundown. Yeah. The, the, rundown. Rundown. The, rundown. the Rundown was good, but... The Rundown really? was good. Uh, actually, even Heathen Tooth Fairy. I mean, it's I, right? yeah, I funny, funny, funny bits I in it. That. I mean, it, it's it's so not geared towards us. I, it, it is so a kid's movie. But, there, boy, he, it's... You it's, can watch it as an adult because of him. Absolutely. Yeah, they threw in enough. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So there you go. Hey, Slicers, Curtin St. George. As Curtin. part of this week's trivia, Christine from Michigan sent me a package to deliver to you guys. Because, mm-hmm. well, tick? I'm a lot closer to Phoenix than she is. I'm and scared. I've had it delivered, and, uh, well, it's something for each of you. Mike, this one is for you. <laughs> Uh, and there's one in there for Sam. She can share with Brett. If Tim's there, there's one for him. And and Brian, here's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I don't think it likes you. <laughs> I like everybody. Except Klingons. Jumpless man is a Klingon. That's right. <laughs> well, I guess we always suspected. Wow. And to the rest of you, just make sure to give them plenty of quadra triticale and right. get them spayed and neutered real soon. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, wow. That explains a large real say, estate you got in the forehead I there. never noticed the head ridges before now. Yeah. Yes, it's because I cover it with hair. At least I have hair to cover it with. <laughs> oh. oh, it hurts because it's true. We need to get brown the lobster. We really there you go. We there you do. Go. Yeah. We really do. Nah. Does this mean a Klingon is the chosen one? That's right. Hi, Slicers. This is Heather in St. Louis. So for the last couple of uh, voicemail shows and uh, slice shows, I've been listening to you guys talk about SGU, and I'm thinking, oh, well, I was one of the few people who stopped watching it after the third episode, so I really need to get back. Okay, Mm -hmm. I'll just wait until the eighth season's Mm -hmm. over, and then I'll just Netflix it. Yeah. Yeah, until episode 314. Now I don't have to Netflix it because I know exactly what happened. So thanks a lot. You and I cannot remember the caller. I should probably start writing down names. So yay. So now that I know how it ends, I probably don't need to watch it anymore. Oh, thanks. No. I- Was this last no, week? No, no, no. Yeah. You, you, it's no, the no, journey. no. That yeah. uh, honestly, that was that was so not a spoiler because it really doesn't make any difference because I agree. It, there's so yeah. much more yeah. to what got you there. Mm. But I, uh, I, I do want to say I didn't watch the show. Um, yeah. and what was it? Four weeks before we were having a, a talk on the patio, and I called the ending. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you kind of did. I actually alluded to it too once before. Mm-hmm. I said I knew exactly how they're going to end it at. Yeah, so. yeah and, and, but and, and, it's still and, great right, along though, the way. It was yeah. honestly, it was the journey. Yeah, yeah well, absolutely. And it's worth just watching the journey. Well, and uh, like uh, we have an interview coming up soon with some other high-profile show on Siffy, mm-hmm. um, and they they kind of hit on it too. What it is 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 it didn't get enough chance to find its legs, to right. be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of shows don't. But, of course, a lot of shows don't have quite that same budget. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that well, was what kind of did it in for it. I mean, the fact is they expected a lot more money and a lot more viewers. But for had, you, had you not had another Battlestar Galactica show coming up, I think we probably would have gotten another season out of Stargate Universe. They just didn't have enough Correct. for two yeah. big budget shows like that with one of them underperforming their right. expectations. Yeah. Oh, well, I agree. Or both of them underperforming. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We haven't seen the other one yet. Yeah, so. but mm, I, knock on wood. I mean, we're talking about, I mean, Caprica was also a big budget show. Exactly. No, but, but, but talking Tim's about, talking, talking about, about the new chrome, one, Blood and Chrome, chrome coming. Right. And right. then so they, they'd and, rather put all their eggs in the Blood and Chrome basket. Right. Yeah. And well, I would so rather just kill that all together and really? go back really? to, oh, absolutely. Go to Stargate Universe and just, yeah, forget so, that. It, I'm kind of with you uh, on if, that, if, Mike. Really? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I could care the hell less. No. Right. If I could uh, inject a you question can. from the outside of somebody that hasn't watched SGU, mm-hmm. I hear a lot of complaining about SGU going away. Yeah. Um, is it worth investing the time? Oh, then? yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The ending is not frustrating. It's not one of those where, where you don't get some kind of resolution. And, and especially this last season, season two, it's was no really, really good. Yeah. I think it's, it's, no frustrating. it's frustrating in the right way. 
Yes, yes, in the way where Correct. you realize how much more it could it have been, been, but it didn't end on a cliffhanger that wanted to made you want to strangle sci-fi for, right. for ending it like I that. I will do a little prediction here and say that I don't think it's over. I really we'll think it is. I don't think, I think so. It is. I don't think so. I think there's a potential. I don't think it's this mm. year. I don't think it's next year. I think I think there's some Well, potential. they'll go back to the to the Stargate Big universe. universe. Yeah, like right. They'll yeah, go yeah. back to that story at some point. Exactly. But Stargate Universe, as we knew it, I mean, the actors it's have gone. moved on. Robert Carlyle is sure, on a new sure, show. Sure. There's just ne- that's not happening no, again. No, it's it's like a firefly. It's, I could see where Mike's going, though. Like a couple years from now, I mean, yeah. it could be a movie, TV movie. It could be something that they yeah. could do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm and, sure it'll happen. And even if it's something, it, it may be something that's an offshoot of the universe, universe that was created. Could be. Because it'll be SGU, or it'll be S, the Stargate Universe, uh, the right. Stargate universe not right. stargate universe right. not yeah. stargate colon universe yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> it will be the stargate world um some uh, of some incarnation and we will be referencing that and there's potential there for it to be revisited yeah i uh, think I uh, maybe i do want to say though we'll and i mean god knows we we all know i'm a huge bsg fan but i think I think that the blood and chrome thing sounds ridiculously interesting. Mm. I mean, it could be. Remember, Maybe. Caprica sounded ridiculously interesting too, uh, and it, it turned out to be interesting, but not for any of the reasons we ever thought. That's true. I just think you know it's the, an aspect of that universe that just uh, is. Yeah. Sound, I mean, it's a war, and mm-hmm. who doesn't like watching war? You just love Ron Moore and My his mom. booty. Basically, that's it. That's Ron, what it is. You and Ron, if, Ron, if, Ron Moore. You. I have, may have a man crush on him. Yeah. May. 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 Ron Moore is bootylicious. Is yes. it is it the luxurious hair? Are you it jealous must be. of it? It must yeah. be therefore attracted the to it. Long flowing yeah. locks. And, and the beard. And, and the beard. He, he looks kind of like Jesus. Beard. I understand. Yeah, he's very like Jesus. A, a more attractive George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, can we go on now? The beard. Please, please go. No? Less flannel. Please, yeah. Please. Less flannel. Okay, hi slicers. It's Heather from St. Louis again. Howdy, howdy. Um, now it's your turn to mock me. Okay. 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 So, mark. as one of the few people who held on, strapped in, and kept, you know, fingers crossed. For the entire 10 seasons of Smallville. Oh, yeah. I mm-hmm. did watch the season finale. Mm-hmm. And personally, in my humble opinion, yeah. I, I'm sure many people disagree with me, the last 20 minutes was definitely worth holding on for 10, 10 seasons. Really? 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 I liked it. Kind of got a little weepy a little bit. Aww. So did my brother, who's been watching it along with me. So, yeah, it was uh. it was gratifying to see that he got finally got to fly and finally got to put on the capes. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. They had to end it that way. They had to end it that way. I wonder what Joe would say, because he was a huge fan. Um, um, I know show. he was disappointed in the two Last shows two, leading right? up to the finale, yeah. but I don't know about the finale. I am sure he will hear this. Yet. Joe, yeah. let us know. Yeah. yeah, I watched the last 20 minutes and went, wow, about time. And Bronze th- <laughs> I think Bronze Thumb said something on his Facebook about it, too, and he was not very happy. So oh, mm. Yeah, mixed mixed reviews. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Slicers, it's Rick from Virginia. I know it's been a long time, but I have Slightly. actually fell behind watching uh, the episodes and listening to them because I had oh. to play catch up. Uh, in response to Roy's voicemail a few episodes back, <laughs> I've actually taken the liberty to create a meetup page oh, yes. on yes. Facebook that I've sent. Oh yeah, uh, on the slice of sci-fi um, page. So and it's uh, cool. Anyone who's yes. on the East Coast, uh, Virginia, Maryland, Coast. Delaware, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania for Crazy Joe, as well as uh, North Carolina, uh, I've created a um, slice of sci-fi East Coast fans uh, meetup page. So awesome. they can go and yeah. check the link out there at the slice of sci-fi page. Um, and hopefully I'll be calling in a bit more regularly now that things have kind of started to settle down. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope to see you at the uh, pool party. Fantastic. Look. And we should give a shout-out to Rick, because congratulations. Congratulations, Indeed. exactly. Just got engaged. Oh, yeah. So now he's got to disengage and come out to the pool party. Exactly. No, he's oh, actually yeah. ball, bring, bring her with he, her. He's yeah. dragging the ball, ball and chain along. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. Like Good. I said, I want to meet the woman who would... Uh, you know, marry him. Marry yeah, him. I don't think she exists. Tame the Ricker. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, we got a great little review from Gary. Ooh. All right. Hey, Slices. It's Gary, and I'm calling in with a little review on Thor. I had signed up on a website, and I would got a promotion from my local Acura dealership that they were running a special sneak preview last night. They gave us a little tote bag with a little metal Thor, key, uh, Thor hammer keychain, some posters, and things like that. It was a cute little um, tote bag, so to speak, to give to us, a nice, nice little bit of swag. And um, 
the theater was pretty full. A lot of people obviously took advantage of this offer. I got to see it in Brian Brown's favorite type of cinema, 3D. And it was free, so I wasn't going to complain. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. This movie kept going the whole time. I'd never checked my watch a single time. It just kept moving. Not that it was all battles and action, but there were just never seemed like there was a slow point to the movie. The editing was really well done. We got to see a little cameo of J. Michael Straczynski, who helped write the movie, uh, try to pull up the hammer at one point with a little hump he gave at the end, no real lines that he wrote himself, which I thought was interesting. Um, Natalie Portman did a reasonable job, better than Amidala, but still not at her best work, but it, it was definitely watchable. Um, everything sort of jived pretty well. The... Um, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent that we've become used to seeing in Marvel superhero movies was there and played a, a, fair, a fair bit of a role during it. The CGI scenes with Asgard, while well, I was really worried it was going to be cheesy up the wazoo, they pulled it off really well. I really had a real sense of depth, and they obviously donated a lot of rendering time from their server farms to get these, uh, some of these images done. It came out very well. The special effects were tremendous. Um, the actor who played Thor, his name escapes me at the moment, but... He was really good. I thought he thought he brought a sensitivity to Thor that I wasn't expecting, honestly. And my wife rather enjoyed the scenes with his shirt off. So overall, I'd recommend it heartily. Uh, get out and see it. It's a load of fun. You'll enjoy it. And of course, like all these movies, stay till the end credits so you can you know get our obligatory um, cameos by people. I won't. I'll leave the surprise with. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. All right, very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Yes, thank you for that, Gary. And his name was Chris Hemsworth. Yes. Chris Hemsworth, yeah, exactly. That's um, uh, Captain Kirk's dad from yes. the latest Star Trek. Yeah. George. Yeah. That's right, without the beard and everything, it's mm-hmm. true. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, all the muscles. And the 30 pounds of muscle he put on for this thing. <laughs> Got it. CGI? Yeah. No. no. Chicken. No. Real. No. Chicken. That's chicken. Right. Chicken. That's right. chicken. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we did the story on it, absolutely. So if you have a review of something that you'd like to send in, um, do it like that. And, uh, so about how long? About uh, between about a minute and a half to two minutes. Yeah. Try and keep it under that. Uh, it needs to be a little longer than a minute, though, because if you're really getting in depth and telling us something important, it's probably. But Paul, right. please don't spoil it for everybody. Yes, no spoilers, please. No spoilers. <laughs> I say go. spoiler away. I don't Absolutely. Care. I'm with Brian. No. All righty. So I got a ton of voicemail in this week, but uh, we're going to just kind of randomly pick in no particular order until uh, we get done. 19. Okay. Hey, guys. Christine from Michigan. Sorry I haven't called in a while. I had a little trouble with a dragon. Really? But it's cool. <laughs> Turned out he just wanted some directions, so I uh, told him how to get to Berlin. All's good. <laughs> anyway, I was calling about all the people who were talking about uh, SGUs over, so they're done with sci-fi. Mm, yeah. well, I want to know what's with the Felicia Day hate, guys. Oh, I mean, no. have we forgotten she's going to be in Eureka for, like, the rest of the episodes well, no. this year? I mean, give Felicia a little love. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think we've ever said we're going to give it Siffy because right. we love Eureka. But some yeah. listeners, though, are that yeah. upset. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. They were we some. haven't said that, but I, I know other fans out there have it, it, have mentioned that. Yeah, I Warehouse mean, Thirteen. I'm still. I'm looking forward to Alphas. I I'm really, saying. really think that's going to be kind of a sleeper show here. Well, I mm-hmm. hope so. I mean, really? I really do. There's just something about that that's looking you got a good. feeling deep down in your pancreas? I do. There's just a strange feeling in my pants that just says it's going to be all right. Whoa. So there you go. I'm blind. That's not I'm Alphas, blind. my friend. Oh, I can't it is. Oh, I can't it's the it's it's the kickback of of the hero syndrome. Oh, is that what it That's is? That's exactly what it is. Oh. Yeah. An ordinary family. Yeah, could be. Mm. Actually, no ordinary family is better. Oh, it's canceled. Oh. Better, better than heroes. Yeah, That's why it's better. better. Than heroes. <laughs> That's why it's better. <laughs> they canceled that one. Really. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, Charlie right. Benz has a new job. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ben from Philadelphia. Long time no talk. Hey, so yeah. guess what? On what? Friday, May thirteenth, I turned forty. Yes. I got a big Happy day plan. Congrats. Planned. Um, first off, I'm going to download my consciousness into an Android that my protege developed. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to have lunch with some pale, sparkling teenagers and see what they have to offer. Good. Next, I'm going to get shot by an astronaut. Hopefully, that'll kickstart my regeneration. <laughs> uh, but only get shot once. That's the key. 
And <laughs> then I'll end the day at the uh, carousel. I pr- plan to get my renew going on. <laughs> so big day, big day, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Well, good luck on that, uh, Ben. Your carousel is about ten years too late. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. so uh, I think Man, he's been walking around with a white gem for ten years. Yeah, I yeah. think. Uh, or no, he's been flashing for ten flashing. years. It's probably now white by the end. Of uh, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, battery ran out. Bat- <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ben from Philadelphia, and oh no, V was canceled. Yeah. Oh wait, what's going to happen with Anna's whole hybrid program? Don't care. Yeah. yeah. Oh hey, what's going to happen with the <laughs> resistance led by Mark Singer? I don't care. Oh wait, wait what's going to happen with the new clone of Lisa, daughter of Anna thing? I don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that summed yeah. it up. That's like a nine point eight on my "Don't Give a Crap" a meter. Well, no, you know that it's like, oh, Mark Singer. Oh, too late. Yeah, yes. I feel bad for Mark Singer. Well, yeah, he, he right? deserved better. Well, they should have brought him in to save yeah. her there earlier. Yeah. Yeah. He should Gosh. come in as the Beastmaster slaying lizards. <laughs> I would have been excited for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all oh we need, John God. Emos, with him as well. Add in a little yeah. Kodo and Podo action, and Absolutely. I am on board. The ferrets? <laughs> yes. That's totally. what I'm talking about. Like I said, about. John Amos, you <laughs> yeah. bet. Oh, so, wow. In a loincloth? Oh, Hell yeah. 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 That could have made the V work. <laughs> wow. Hey, Slicers, it's Arkel. I uh, just finished watching the Doctor Who episode written by Neil Gaiman. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, please, oh, please tell me he's going to do more next season. Oh, boy. It doesn't have to be a lot more. It could be two episodes. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be really, really cool. I don't think so. I think he signed in to do one, and that yeah. was pretty much it. Now, they may invite probably, him back. They may invite him back again, but that episode, really cool. That's it. Mm. Yeah, mm. so it, it played over and over, Arkel. You'll just kind of go, Ooh. Hey, guys. You were talking about Camelot, and uh, you were correcting Mike's pronunciation of Ralph Fiennes, say it's Rafe Fiennes. Yeah, well. well, I hate to break it to you guys, but you're both wrong. It's Joseph Fiennes. Yes, Get that's the right. Actor right, guys. Yeah, Rafe Fiennes right. is playing Joe. Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. we're totally busted. Uh, you're you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I think you just figured out how now, much we liked this show. Now, now I, I didn't care. Who was playing in Merlin? I just wanted to correct Mike. <laughs> that yeah, was right. pretty oh. much it. I can care less if I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, it's yeah, Joe. Who cares? I mean, I wanted to correct yeah, well, the Rafe. All right. No, it was, a, you know, Ralph. You're, you're, you're right. It wasn't Ralph. Yeah. It was Ray. But it, wasn't it was Ray. Joe. It was Joe. 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 Ray. Fine. Frank. Frank. Joe. Joe. You know, you know, Joe. Yeah. Mortimer. Joe. Well, you have Joseph, with normal name, and then you have Ralph. Rafe. Rafe. It's like, Rafe. It's like, Rafe. Why? Ralph. Why don't you call him? You know, so, uh, what are they gonna call him the next guy? Tony, but they're gonna call him Tony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna possible. call oil and get some Earl put in my car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Slicers, it's Arkel, and um, listening to Loud Voice Now show, and you know, th- throughout the years I've been listening to you, you frequently have taken pot shots Us? at no. the uh, soundtrack for the Dune movie. Oh yeah. And I've been just soundtrack. waiting for somebody to call in and say what needs to be said. Mm. But I guess, once again, it falls to me to be the lone defender. (laughs) What the hell is the matter with you people? That soundtrack is awesome. I still listen to it over and over again. What? It is. It's just dated. Really? It's just dated, but it was a good soundtrack. I mean, it's like Blade Runner. I love the Blade Runner soundtrack, but it's very dated. It is. The soundtrack for Dune is great. The movie's a piece of crap. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, the movie is a piece of crap. No, no. Flaming poo. Except for any part with Sting in a loincloth or little little space underwear. So you you like the last minute and a half. That's fine. So, yeah. That's so fine. let's say this: uh, Blade Runner, Vangelis, yeah, epic, lasts oh, yes. forever. Mm-hmm. Toto, Toto, not so much. I well, like Toto. I know. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm I saying, don't think I'm they saying, really belong in Dune. Well, bingo. Hold on. There, there's a, there's a, a habit of some people during, during the production of their movie when they do their soundtracks, they find the most popular artist of the time and they throw them in there. Right. Queen was a great example. Did you know? It's kind of magic. Off. Now of, that um, was Highlander. brilliant, and it's still no, brilliant. It, it really was because it, Queen very much transcends. Uh, well, oh, true. Absolutely. much but more epic my music. Point, than... My point was is they nailed it for Highlander, and I think Toto nailed it for Dune. It was great for its time. Let me guess. You love the music in Call the Conqueror, right? 
<laughs> Brett, Brett, it's Brett, the same be thing. honest, it's the your same musical thing. taste is completely stuck in the 80s anyway. Well, no, I, it, but I'm, I'm with You're Brendan. not the person to be defending this. The, the Toto soundtrack is great, but comparing for. it to Queen is a travesty. No, I'm not comparing. Oh, yeah, you did, though. You brought you it up. What so I'm saying, saying is, what I'm saying I bet is, you like Hitler, too, don't you? Oh, I got Lars von Trier! Yes. Lars von Trier! Wow. <laughs> Brian got with the show. Yes. Wow. Shark jumper. Uh-huh. Damn. Okay, one more, and I'm going to get us out of here. Please. Hi there, it's Big VS in PA, and uh, Brent, you didn't you didn't appreciate Brent? the family oh, tree I put it out in the last episode, uh, last voicemail. Well, it could have been worse. I could have put it out that Peter Mayhew only wore Merkin for the entire film. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! And on that we're, note, we're, wait, we're ending on that. We we're gotta gonna, end on Merkin suit. Really? We gotta go. Yeah, we really do. Uh, we really do. <sighs> uh, if you didn't like it, you you know what to do. Send you in call. more. You that, call. You, you call the numbers. Two zero six three three nine Trek. That's two zero six three three nine eight seven three five. Leave us some really cool content. Oh, wow. Drinking now heavily. Absolutely. Full body Merkin. Yeah. Full body Merkin. Gotta be sweaty. Going. That's oh, cold. Yeah. And and it's chewy. It's chewy. Nair. <laughs> <laughs>